Okay, before we continue, I want to show you some error that I just found on the console. Now, this is it. It says that uh, each child in an array should have a unique key property. And this is because this function is going to create an array, right? So this means that we are going to have many movies inside of the array. And because React needs to know which element is which element on the array, we have to give it a key. So we do this. And this key, <coughs> this key has to be unique for all the um, elements of the array, right? So we can do one thing. One thing we can do will be to add something here, ID1, ID2, or stuff like that. Or we can do it with the map function. Now the map function gives us another argument. Okay, so when we execute the map function, we get one argument, which this one represents the current element of the cycle. And the other one, we can call it um, index. All right. Now index is the number of the current element that we are providing. All right. So I'm going to say index. This means that on the first cycle, movie will be equals to this one. And then on the second cycle, this one will be movie. And the second and the first cycle, movie will be equal, index, sorry, index will be equal to this one. And now on the second cycle, movie will be equals to this one. And index will be equal to this one. Okay? So this means that our movie will have a key from zero to three. Okay? So we say index. Now, if we go back and refresh, let me change it here. Oh, movie is not defined. Oh, sorry. There we go. If we refresh, there is no problem because now these fellas have a key. Now, the key is invisible. You cannot see the key. Okay? But just trust me that it is there. So that's why React is not complaining. If we remove this key, it will say that each child needs a key. All right, a unique key property. All right, so we're good now. Now, what if I want to make sure that the props here are the ones I'm expecting? So on movie, yeah. On the movie, I can check if the title is what I want and the poster is what I want. I don't want numbers, for example, for the title. And I here, I don't want from the poster, I want a URL. This is a string. I don't want a number. I don't want a true or false. I don't want a function. So the way we check this is by saying here in the component at the top, we just say static prop types. Okay, and the prop types, we are going to say that we are expecting two props. One prop is the title and the other prop is the, prop is the poster. So we say title. And now we say which kind of uh, prop is this. So we're going to say that these are React prop types. And what is it? It's a string. All right. Now we say poster is also react has a prop type of string and I just realized my mistake here prop types All right so we have a title react prop type string here we're saying that this is a string and this one is a string also we are checking to see what we are checking to see if we uh, have the correct type of prop. And this is showing me that it's deprecated since React 15. So we need the prop types module. All right, no problem. I'm going to install it then. And we keep going. 
this is new this is how you know that i'm doing this shit for real because it's super new all right john at prop types all right we're gonna wait a little bit and then we continue all right now that it's installed all i have to do here is to import prop types and just check with it so i just do this all right so what happened before is that react had a library inside of it called prop types that checks the type of the prop now they make it into two libraries react and prop types so what we do is that we just install prop types and we required here all right same thing all right so if i save here it's going to compile and we are going to check this out let's check it out let me close this bullshit and it's all good now what happens if i say that the title should be a number when it refreshes it is going to tell me that the prop type title is a string and that i was expecting to get a number so as you can see this is very cool because we can check because we can check which kind of prop are we getting from right from the father so if the father is sending us strings then here we can check that the prop title this one has to be a string all right and if it's not we're going to see an alert and this is very good because we can check what we are receiving from the father now also we can check if is required or not for example this one will tell you that this component movie which is here is getting a prop called title that is a string and that it is required so what happens if i don't give you the title when i save and when it refreshes is going to show me that the required here prop is not there because it's undefined so as you can see this is very cool because i can check which kind of props i am getting from the father in this case i'm getting a title and a poster with the form of a string string and a string and i'm going to say that both of them are required so this this way i can check exactly what i'm what i'm getting and also i can check here and i can say that static prop types and i can say that what i'm getting is called poster and poster has the prop types of the string also and it is required without the poster i cannot show the image that's why it is required all right so this is how you can check which kind of data you are getting from the father here i am checking which data i am getting from the father here all right and i'm saying that it is required and this is very cool because you can be sure that if you're not getting the data you want it's going to show you an error so you can be sure that if you make an api and if you make a, a an application you know that the username is going to be a string and that it is required you're never going to show an empty component all right see you on the next one